guys, this is Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today we're going to talk about Fever by Maya Banks, the second in the Breathless series. This book was very much a character-driven plot. And aside from the incredibly awkward, for me at least, opening sex scene, the rest of the book was incredibly sweet. This story focuses on Jace. And Jace and Ash, well, more Ash than Jace, I guess, uh, I this waitress, Bethany. And Ash offers to pay Bethany for her services and a threesome. And she agrees as long as a meal is included. She's so desperate that she needs the money because her brother Jack is getting into trouble and he owes people money and she's given him what she has. And Bethany being homeless, she feels like Jace is so beyond out of her league and it's not even in her world. She thinks very poorly of herself and she doesn't like to feel so unworthy. The way that it began really was like pretty woman was shouting in my head, but she acknowledged it so it was all cool. But maybe I didn't like this quite as much as I think I initially would have because I had it on such a high pedestal because of Rush and because Pretty Woman. Guys, I love that movie. But don't get me wrong, it was still a good read. So they have the threesome and wow, that was incredibly awkward for me. For most people, maybe it's not. Maybe it's me having taken a psychology class now and we're currently focusing on fetishism and masochism and all that lovely stuff. Maybe it's the fact that he is Maya's brother and I found that awkward and that's like a shit poor excuse. She is more drawn to Jace. Jace feels something like different for her, like this connection and he doesn't want to share her, but he still goes through with the threesome. And so the story continues on where he actually goes solo. He wants Bethany all to himself, but she has troubled past and Jace is worried that because he's finally going solo, which never happens by the way, it's this wedge between his and Ash's relationship and we get to see all of that and it's a very character driven plot like I said before and we just, we get to see where the characters go and how they grow and it's pretty interesting. So now I'm going to talk spoilers and I will see you guys later if you haven't read it. Bye! This book was very fast paced. I feel like a couple of the conversations between Ash and Jace were a little bit repetitious, but other than that, I felt like the dialogue was really funny. There were plenty of my favorite sayings back in this book. Ever loving fuck. I'm using that in everyday life now. I find it funny. Oh, and come to Jesus moment. We gotta have that too. There was this one part in particular that really struck me. It was sinfully wasteful, but she used two towels, one for her body and the other to wrap in her hair. It was a frivolous luxury that gave her a giddy thrill to indulge in. Like, we, I do that every day and that's crazy and it makes you kind of realize the things that you do take for granted and it really made me realize that that's what it's like to be homeless. It's not saying they just don't have a place to stay but that they're cold and they don't have these things like these luxuries. What we wouldn't even consider luxuries, we would consider just basic needs. They consider like frivolous. So there's a 15 year age difference. Can't give Gabe shit now, can you Jace? There's this one part and it was a serious scene but I could not help myself from laughing through it. Jace just goes into this stream of curses. Fucking bastard goddamn chicken shit sons of bitches. It was really funny to me. I loved this part specifically and it's like I want to throw this in everyone's face that judges so hard. These dominant and submissive relationships, I want to throw this at them because thank you, someone wrote this. Hold your head up. You submissing to me doesn't mean you're anything less. The very last thing I want for you is to be a mindless puppet. Thank you. And their relationship was moving very fast. They've only known each other for a matter of weeks, but Bethany has these serious self-image issues. And I was singing, what was it? She Will Be Loved, Maroon 5 old song. That's what it very much reminded me of. And Jace was just incredibly sweet and determined to make her feel like she was worthy. And this part really, it summarized that whole idea. God, you have a beautiful laugh. And your smile, Jesus, it knocks the breath out of me. You can't talk to me like that, she breathed. Nobody says things like that to a woman they just met. It's insane. I just did, and I plan to keep saying them until you believe every word. That was incredibly sweet. I felt like Gabe was less extreme than Jace. And maybe it was the fact that Jace was so straightforward with the kind of relationship that he expected from Bethany, and maybe Gabe didn't really spell it out quite so well, or graphically, I guess? And that's why I kind of thought this was more extreme and I was a little bit hesitant with it. I'm gonna read you what it said. Crops, paddles, belts. I like rough sex. I like role playing. I like bondage. Sometimes I feel like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because there are times when I worship the woman I'm with, savor, touch, kiss to make love, and other times I want it my way, any way I want, tied up, helpless, ass reddened by my spanking. 
Sometimes the sex is all about her and her orgasm, but sometimes it's all about mine. I'm very proud of myself that I read that without cracking. But y you see what I mean? Like that was so... I mean, maybe that's what it's always been, but it hasn't just been uh, verbalized. I really felt for Bethany with that whole Christmas dinner thing. It's just like, God, what is this socialization thing they're talking about? That was a joke. Okay, getting everyone to come over and secretly get a tree and decorate his place so that Bethany could have this Christmas. That was... <sighs> this book had my biggest pet peeve, though, um, and I've wasted it every time that it's brought up because I'm seriously still against it. Put however many diamonds you want on it, it is still a collar. It is still the same thing a dog would wear, and it's demeaning. It's not the idea that what it represents. It represents ownership. I, I get that. But see, then I can argue the same point that what are wedding rings but a sign of ownership, that you belong to somebody else? And it's a big neon sign saying, back off, I'm taken. I could apply the same concept, I guess. All right, so Jace really emphasized trust, but then he wouldn't give it to her. I understand it's an earned thing, but really? Like, that was just the biggest deal and she gave herself to him. She trusted him. He could seriously hurt her. I think what would have made a world of difference is to have had a couple flashbacks of her and Jack in the foster homes and on the streets or something to make me empathize, to make me sympathize for Jack or to really root for their relationship because honestly, I was... I didn't care about Jack very much and that made me sad and I really tried to and I wanted to feel for him because he did so much for Bethany. He took the beating, he took the abuse, and he took everything to protect her. And so, so at the club when they were drunk and Bethany was drunk and she told Gabe that he was sweet and he's like, that's not quite the word I would use to describe myself and no, Gabe, you, you are sweet. So Jack goes to her apartment and she goes there and he's making hot chocolate and he freaking drugged her. Yes, it was an accident. How did that even happen? I am so confused by that still. I have to go back and reread it. And I'm just like, you had one already made and you make another one. How did you get them mixed up? I mean, knowing what was in them, how did you get them mixed up? I don't, and then how would suicide really solve any problems? And Jace was absolutely right. That was completely selfish of him. He thought that that was being completely selfless because he was getting out of Bethany's life, but it's really not. It was completely selfish. I was really mad at Jack. I didn't know what was going on and I thought, oh my god, is he in some sort of other thing where he has to like, I don't know, bring her his payment? I didn't know what was going on, but I liked that I didn't really know because it made me that much more into the story and I couldn't put it down and it was like this close to my face and even though that didn't make it any easier to read, I'm really glad that Jack is gonna get that help and that he didn't go through with it. The trust thing with Bethany and Jace. I knew something would happen really soon to make that trust thing happen. I didn't expect this by any means. But I'm, glo I'm good with that, it worked. And then the ending. For her birthday, he proposes to her, and I think it's just become tradition for this last little chapter to have a proposal. And so I'm expecting Ash to have a ring on some chick's finger now, and I don't know who that's gonna be, and I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that it might be one of Mia's friends? I don't know, because I feel like it'd be someone that he knew before? Maybe someone that he knows through his family in a weird way, like he goes and sees them and I do something. But yeah, that's my ongoing theory. I wanna know what happens with Ash and I want him to have these problems with his family at least either cut off or fixed or something because it sucks for him, it really does. One of the has to haves, I got it this time, in Burn is we have to have the weddings. Jace is engaged, Gabe is engaged. It's like, don't cut me off on these weddings. I want to see these. Rush was on a pedestal for me because it was so fun. And it was, it was a candy read. I'm going to steal Megan's saying here. So let me know what you guys thought of it. The pluses and the minuses for you. I want to hear all that down there in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time I'll be reviewing A Beautiful Eye. And I'm so into that story right now. I got it on my Kindle and I actually already like 8% in have decided I want it in paperback because the cover is awesome and like it's just so good already and I know it's gonna be amazing and then the second one comes out this month yay I finally got it right I'm getting the books I'm reading the first one the sequels are coming out the same month as this in a couple days and I'm excited I finally got it right you guys yay so I'll see you then bye why aren't words working today in engaged to Gabe to what is with my tongue today? This is one of those have to has to have to have. What the hell? Get
Get out of my way, little yellow things. It's like so so. I sounded really high for all this time. Ah! Do you hear that? That was the most dramatic hair getting out of my face thing I've ever done, I think, yeah. Good for you growing up 40 something and this is just happening. Wrong brother, per friend, wow. Out, out of, what am I saying today? Kind of leave, not in this. That made no sense. My, me oh Maya again. Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is not how I start the videos. <laughs> what am I doing?